Hey everybody, gotta wait for a minutes for YouTube. I'm gonna give you some water, I'll be right back. Hold on.
hit that subscribe button when you came in the house, y'all. Y'all, something wrong with your auntie. You know I got some, I'm always, oh Jesus. I'm gonna pray first, let me get this all. Y'all, after I tell y'all why I need to pray first, y'all going to say, uh, this is funny. Dear Father, I thank you for each and every one of us in the chat today, Father. I thank you for getting us up this morning because you didn't have to. Father, please get me up tomorrow in my right mind because the last couple of days was hard. But Lord, I thank you for getting me up anyhow because you didn't have to. Father, I ask you to look out over the ones that sick, heal their body, Father. You said no weapon shall form against me, shall prosper. I ask you to look over the people in the highways, in the byways, in the underpass, in the trees, and on the leads, and on the sidewalk. Father, I thank you for watching with Mel and her family. Keep on building the fence around them each and every day. No weapon shall form against her, shall prosper. Father, I thank you for looking over this channel, because nobody but you, Father. And I thank you for looking over my family and each and every one of our family. Amen. Amen. Y'all, I can't make this up. How y'all doing? How y'all doing today? How y'all doing? Y'all, I got something funny to tell y'all. I apologize for that post I put up yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> my friend yesterday y'all know i told y'all i had a leak in the house and the water bill was 500 dollars. so I, I was dealing with that yesterday then the people came to paint the porch and came to put a new porch in and put uh, a new everything in fix the toilet and everything it was just chaos so my friend sent me a text <laughs> I didn't fully look at it. It said, um, <laughs> Sister Tyson passed away. I think I was overwhelmed because I'm saying, I'm sitting there now saying, Lord, she, she a good actor. Lord, she a good actor. Then I post that my heart was heavy. <laughs> then I thought about it. Then Punky said, I am. I said, huh? Sister Tyson died uh, in 2021. I said, huh? I said, oh, Lord, she showed it. I said, maybe it was her anniversary. She said, uh-uh, uh-uh. I'm about to look at that text. I said, I'm going to get her. So I had to go and take down all the posts. Here she go calling me around about 12 or 1 o'clock. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. I said, get on, hey, girl, me. Said, you had me crying and everything and crying over sister tyson she been dead i said what's wrong with you she been dead she's hum oh i had a lot going on too she did i thought about that too and i said oh she been dead i said well, why you send me that stuff don't send me nothing like that no more don't ever send me anything like, like that again had me crying all up in my feelings and had me look like a fool like a fool i said i know them people saying uh, and it's going through. What is wrong with her? They later been dead. They later been dead. I'm sitting there saying, he, he, Lord, why? Lord Jesus. That's, the lady was a good actor. Lord Jesus. She was, she was over there with her Brad Fonte. What's, what's going on? My dumb ass. Went on Instagram and said, my heart is heavy. I cried this morning. Who Jesus. Y'all pray for me. It was just a lot going on. I apologize, but blame it on my friend. All I seen was 36 minutes ago. I, and I had to think about it. I said, she, she been there. Yeah, I'm sorry. 
and apologize from me to you. It was just one of those days, y'all. Just one of those days. That's all it is. Now, I'm going to do the runners tomorrow. I'm going to get into Judge Hatchet. Then I'm going to go to Love and Marriage Huntsville because you know that's a long, long section. Judge Hatchet, I'm not going to be up there long. Okay. I'm not even going to call the man name. What I'm saying is alleged, but it's in the news. So I'm going to play the news so y'all can see it. Hear it for yourself. Because this is what I've been telling y'all about. Your rights. Your rights is getting taken from you. And you don't care. But then you're going to care when you can't go into the store. You're going to care when you can't go where you want to go, where you used to go. And you're going to care when they start putting those signs back on the door. This is what I'm telling y'all. I say by this time, everybody's on YouTube. There's a lot of stuff on YouTube. You can educate yourself. Start a drama and mess. Help somebody. If something that you pick up and you find out, okay, uh, here you go, Aunt Anne. Here, get to another contact creator. It's in that area. Okay, here you go. What are we going to do about this? This is what I found out. They start bang banging the Chinese people. In 24 hours, they had a protection law for them. Okay? We live here. Follow me now, y'all. <laughs> now they're trying to get an Asian law passed. We've been trying to get our law passed. What thing what's about us is that we are fight at that time. We'll drop the baton and don't look back. Don't even try to work it out and try to get our law passed. See, let me tell you what this. They know that's what we do. They say, okay, we if somebody had pow pow or uh, took somebody's life, a white person took somebody's life, uh, we'll fuss that, we'll fuss and argue at that moment until they get arrested, then we forget about it. Look at a young lady got on um, pow pow in front of her son. I don't hear nothing else about it. We forgot about it. We figured she, the lady got arrested, but we had to keep our, our foot on the neck and make sure she get prosecuted for it. Because she can walk today and do it again to somebody else. And because we always drop the ball, not just you, we always drop the ball. You don't carry out stuff that you start. And that's what they look at us. Colored people don't start what they finish. They don't finish what they start. Oh, they, they're right, 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 right now, but they'll calm down and they'll forget about it. And that's what we forgot about our bill to protect us. Where is the black people bill? Everybody got a bill. We live here. We was born here in the United States. So you tell me the people come out, come from other countries, can get protection than we can. Not right. Don't sound right. Is because of us. We fighting each other. I told y'all. We fighting the wrong fight. The wrong fight. Judge Hatchet. When she described. To me she was aura. In public. In broad daylight. That man. Groped her and wouldn't let her go. He had his hand around her breast. And was stroking it like it was a watermelon or it was a pineapple. He was just rubbing it. Another man had inter interrupt him and take his hand out her bra, out her off her chest, so he could stop. See, this is the problem. Nothing they, they can do what they want to do to us. And guess who tried to uphold what he did? The governor. Of Florida. Hmm. I want you to listen to something. Hold on for a minute. Let me get it for you.
Sister Naima Rashad has been with me for some 12 years or so at that time. Was like, she'd never seen me like that. I rarely cry. I was at a reception. So I'm going to be very candid with you. I'm going to be fairly brief, very candid about what happened so that there's no misunderstanding about what went on. I was virtual. I'll make this very quick. My uninvited family is from Troop, family is from Troop County, Georgia. I needed help. My life had been changed. And as I said to the judge in the court this morning, that I never expected that I would be so deeply affected by this. I'm sorry, y'all. I was in Georgia. I could barely get through by impact statement. <laughs> See, my eyes are still puffy. I cried and cried and cried in court. And thankfully, I've at least gotten that out so that I probably, hopefully won't break down to this. How dare you do this? And if he would do this to me after having been introduced to him as Judge Hatchin, what else is happening? What about the women and men who are out here who don't have the resources that I have, who don't have the support of this amazing law firm and these amazing lawyers and all these people in the community who have stepped up and have been with me? This has been 20 months. 20 months that they have manipulated the system with delays after delays after delays, in my opinion, so that he could hold on to not only his salary, but his pension. And I'm going to go there. I am going to go there. The governor did nothing. I'm going to go there. The governor, after men and women stood in front of the Capitol last October and demanded that the governor take action, he never suspended him. Until this today, when he resigned, he has been on salary and will have his full benefits. And so that is outrageous and it's un unacceptable. And yes, I went there. And so what I will say, and I will take a few questions today, and I appreciate you all being collectively here so that I don't have to keep reliving this over and over as I talk. But I just want to say to the victims out there, Speak up. People have to be accountable. And the judge said to me before I left the court today, I hope that you will continue to speak up. And that is what I will do. That is what this law firm will do. That is what others who are in this fight day in and day out will do. Because we must, we must be the voice for the voiceless. We must stand in the gap. We must be there to support people who are not able to do what needs to be done to seek justice. And so with that, I will open it up for questions. And I got through it without falling apart. But if you go back and see the courtroom tape this morning, I mean, I was just all over the podium. I mean, I was like, whoop. And I didn't think I would, but I did. I mean, I, you know, it, is, it has been hard. Judge Patrick, why do you suppose the court system and the governor took so long to uh, recognize that this was a serious issue? Well, first of all, the governor still hasn't done anything. Uh, the defendant resigned this morning before entering a plea to preserve, basically, in my opinion, his pension. Had he taken the plea, excuse me, had he taken the plea, and been on the record as being guilty of this sexual assault, he would have forfeited under, under state law. And so I think that this was carefully orchestrated. I said to the judge this morning, I appreciate the backup with COVID and so forth and so on, but he was scheduled to plead, let's be very clear, the second week in September of last year, and he didn't. And it kept, kept getting delays, kept getting delays. He was gonna plea, I'm gonna go to trial, I'm gonna plea back and forth, back and forth, until finally I was like, I'm done. I can't do this anymore. And it was finally set. And I think that um, Judge Brewer did a remarkable job. He actually went further than what the prosecutors asked for this morning. And he made it very clear as to why he did not grant first offender coverage or, 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 or um, what am I trying Protection. Thank you. That's I, that's why I have good people around me. Does that answer your question? If I was looking for a creative way to make some extra.
Okay. I didn't play the whole thing. I seen the whole thing. Y'all can go on 11 Live, Alive, and you can see it. What got me is that I never seen Judge Hatchet like this. She said she had to go to therapy. I understand. Been there. So I know how she feel. Imagine somebody come up to you. You well known. And they introduce you to that person. And the first thing they do is grab your boobs. She said she beat herself up. Like, why didn't I smack him? Why didn't I do this? Why didn't I do? She said she was shocked. She said she just froze because she couldn't believe somebody was groping her in front of all these people. No one did anything, but the man had to, the one was with her. He grabbed him and grabbed his hands off of her breast. She she described it. You can go ahead and say she said he just kept on going around and around and grabbing them and going around and grabbing them. And I'm just like, wow. One thing about me, he wouldn't have a bat and two balls. He wouldn't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Because who give this man the right? See, that's what I'm saying. They used to doing us like that. See, this man is back. <laughs> They're trying to take everybody back. Look who Georgia got over. Hmm. They're trying to break everything back. One trying to be like Florida. They're trying to be like each other. Because they're not too far from each other. We pay attention to stuff that shouldn't be paid attention to. We give too much show on something that don't need to be too much showed on. What we need to show about. We have kids. We have grandchildren. Would you want that to happen to your grandchild? Would you want that to happen to your daughter? Your son? Your niece? We talk about it, but we don't. Only thing we do is sit and do nothing. But we're so fast. To go on YouTube, do something else and say what we got to say and, and bother people and harass people. But you can't stand 10 toes down for your sister or your brother or for yourself. We sinking. Right before your eyes. And y'all keep telling y'all. Everybody think these checks are going to be out here. They snatching your checks. They don't want to give you all your check. They don't want to give you what you're getting. And it's a shame. They're not, some of not even giving you nothing. And you can't even work. Because you done broke your body down all these years. And it's sad. I seen it happen. You could have a black person broke down, can't even walk. White person come in there and say, uh, I'm overweight or I'm depressed. They'll give it to them. But you halfway can't walk. You got to fight the system to your last breath. To get what yours. Help to get with yours. I'm saying this because my mom was a school teacher. My mom was a minister. My mom was a manager. My mom taught at a college. She was fighting for her disability. She got one check before she passed away. This is what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about. Mm. Happened to me. Had a stroke, sick, couldn't work. Soon they find out you get a little better, they snatch everything from you. Don't give you 24 hours. 
Once they find out, everything cut completely off. You don't get a last one. You don't get a first one. And I'm telling y'all this because they're going to take everything from you. And they're doing it now. They don't want us here. So what they're going to do? Get rid of us? Look at that pie pie happen. Oh, Jesus. And those people have not did anything to that person. And his next place was going to be a university close by. With all those kids. And you know what college it was? It was a mostly black, it was black college. Make it make sense. I'm telling y'all this because God's tired. And he done sent so many people by to help us get ourselves together. And we still ain't got it. Might not want to hear what I got to say. But one day, you're going to wish you stood there and heard. You're going to say it. This is what you're going to say. Oh, Ann was right. Oh, Ann was right. Oh, Ann was right. She tried to tell us. She tried to get us together. She tried to get us prepared. She was right. They had everything off until this man was able to get his pension. <laughs> he was paid off to golf after he done um, Aura Judge Hatchet. He was paid. I mean paid. Suspended with pay. And they waited till he got a certain age to be able to collect every pension. I think they should have took everything from him. He shouldn't have got one dime. One dime. He shouldn't have got it. I'm not prejudiced against no one. I like every color. You're nice to me. I'm nice to you. You got a problem with me? Stay away from me. It's just sad. Y'all got to get it together. Time is winding down. And the only thing I'm going to say is, I told you so. I told you so. You got to start your own business. Start making your more money. Because they coming. Look around you. They are coming. Now... Let's get to Love, Love and Marriage Huntsman. What y'all think about the trail? I'm going to tell you what I think about the trail. The whole time CK saying is a reality show. That's what he's giving you now is reality. <laughs> he's giving you reality. Do I think it's going to be good? I don't know. I think it's going to be, it look exciting. I don't know how good it is. It look exciting. But one thing I'm going to tell y'all, I told y'all so. Like I said, what I'm saying is alleged. It's my opinion. It's for he, he, ha, ha. It's entertainment only. I told y'all, go look at my video saying inconvenient match with Maurice and Kimmy. Do I think Kimmy gave Maurice a pass. I think he took a pass. My opinion, my thoughts. I don't think Maurice love. I, I think he love Kimmy, but he's not in love with Kimmy. I'm gonna break it down for y'all for a minute, and I'm gonna go through each one on what I'm seeing on this show. Somebody put in the chat, was he with Kimmy for 12 years or seven years? Either one is a long time. If you was going to marry someone, it wouldn't took you that long to marry them. Trust me. It wouldn't took you that long to marry them. It was a convenient marriage. They got married because of the show. If the show was not coming on, 
He wouldn't have married Kimmy. Yep, seven years. I said I, I thought it was something like that. Thank you. Thank you. It's knowing the world. He wouldn't have married Kimmy. Y'all go look at that. If you go look at that video, I, I did convenient marriage is one and two. Those are the two videos they was trying to take down. And YouTube asked me if I want it down, I could take it down. They, I, that video was on hold for a whole week and they went through it. They told me what was needed. To, they took what needed to be taken out and they told me that they wanted the video down. I don't have to take it down. I could put it back up if I want to. And guess where is that? It's been up for a whole year ever since then. Yep. I did it last year and I kept it up. I kept it up because I knew I'm going to have to come back around to that video. When he asked her, they went to canceling. He didn't tell her that his mom was going to stay with them. He didn't tell her mom, mom, what, what, what is, uh, uh, monster was going to come live with them. And she was out there crying. He didn't care. She was crying in the council office before they got married. And she said that everything will be on her. And she just didn't want that. Go back. Look at Maury's face. Like, I don't care. If you're going to marry me, you're going to raise him. And you're going to help me with him. And my mama come and stand. And that's it. I don't care what you say. Do he love her? Yep. Is he in love with Kimmy? Nope. Let me tell you one thing. I know what love. If he was in love with Kimmy, love and in love with Kimmy, he wouldn't be worrying about having sex and put his little wing of lane in Kimmy and she's going through chemo. You be sitting there worried about your wife, fighting for her life. You be fighting for your wife's life with her. Make it make sense. And when this bastard said out his mouth is that um, I sacrifice too. Well, she fight for her life. And they said that she, you know, she sacrificed a lot, you know, as doing chemo and stuff and shaving her hair and stuff. But he said, I sacrifice too. Not having sex. If you rice crispy wingling, um, that's all you worried about. We have some problems. Because he's not worried about anything. He's only worried about his little rice wingling. And he's sitting there with a big smile on his face. What about my knees? What about my knees? Your wife going through chemo. And I heard people tell me, they say I'm going through the third, um, third set of chemo. I don't know if I'm going to make it on end. Yes, you are. God says so. So for him to say that, and I'm dealing with people that were cancer, my best friend died with cancer, my grandmother had breast cancer, I know. Weak. Sometimes can't get yourself to go up to the bathroom. But you worrying about your little Rice crispy Rice Ringer, Salsa Lane. Make it make sense. And this is why I said, and I did that video, Convenient Marriage. I picked that out on day one. He wouldn't have never married Kimmy if Kimmy, if they wasn't going on this show. He had to hurry up and get married because what the show called Love and Marriage Huntsville. And all the couples had to be married. Boop. I'm not the one to gossip. I'm just a news reporter reporting you the news, what I see. That's what it is. I call a spade a spade. Then I'm seeing what is Fletcher wife name? Nemo, whatever her name is. Who Jesus? See, some of these people overacting. You tired of Martel telling you that 
male cheated. It is not that serious that you're going to blow a blood vessel in your neck and your brain. It's not that serious because ain't nowhere in the world. I'm going to get back to that. I did a video about that, but I found out, like I said, it was in my DM. I did a video about him already. Um, It's in my members only. There's nowhere in the world I'm going to scream under my lawn. It sounds fishy to me. If it looked like a fish, walk like a fish, it's a fish. It's a fish. Can you please tell us, no, not us, not us, stop putting everybody in, in your mess, not us, just say you. She told you one time, if you my friend and I'm telling you, I ain't cheated. And you come with all this energy. I'm tired of him coming, come up, uh, uh, um, um, that you... You've been cheating. Can you tell him? Can you tell? Why? Why? Man looking like, what the going on here? And I'm looking right with you, Mel. Why all the chaos? Why all the hollering? Why all the jumping up? Moving the hands? Because that was my friend, and my friend already told me. My friend ain't got to tell me 20 and 30 times. I did not cheat it. But let me tell you one thing. Um, oh, now. Let me tell you one thing. About these over actors. They need to go to acting school because they acting sucks. Me. I'm not going to tell, keep telling you I did not cheat it. If I told you the first time, the second time, she already said when it was when it was on your patio and, and that glass got thrown when Martel tried to say uh, 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 Super Flea was uh, feeling his ego. She already told you and she told you time again. But let me tell you about this he cliff bastard. He know good and well Mel did not cheat on him. Let me tell you what kind of person he is. Because if Mel would have cheated on him, he would have been left. He would have been holding things over Mel's head and say, well, you cheated. I'm going to leave. If you want me to come back, you got to give me um half of this. You got to sign over everything to me. I know this bastard. This bastard ain't letting Melody get off scot-free. Mel filed for the divorce. So I know this bastard line. Hotel has an ego as I will let you go. You ain't going to cheat on me. Ain't no way in the world you're going to cheat on me. Say, so ain't no way in the world to cheat on me. This is crazy. This is ludicrous what's going on on this show. Well, I'm going to watch it. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to give it a little because I got to come back and report it to y'all. I'm going to see like I told y'all. If it don't make sense to me, night, night. I'm turning the lights off. And we're going to go moving on to something else. But like I said, I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to look at it with an open eye. Or something different. Then we got Melody sitting down with Kiki and Kiki saying somebody had a threesome. Allegedly. I don't know. I won't deal. But I think it might be Tisha, somebody else, and Maso. 
not my, your muscle. Allegedly, I don't know until it come on. Because for her to know that much, it had to be Tisha involved. Or somebody that Kiki knew involved. And what the sad thing I thought about it was when <laughs> Mel said she never had an OG. Whoop. Mm -hmm. She got four kids, but you never gave her OG. Mm. And that's possible. But I bet you she's getting one now. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo -hoo. Excuse me. But I bet she's getting one now. That's why she said she never had one with him. Me too. I am too. Because what I'm looking at is now, excuse my language, a shit starter. The way y'all y'all go back and look at um the trailer, how she's hollering and running around there like a a chicken with a head cut off. And when I seen, I said, "Girl, bye. Why are you bringing up old stuff? You bringing up stuff from what four seasons ago, three seasons ago? Let me tell y'all something. They tell these people." Who to go for and what to do. And that's what she did. They told her to bring that back up. But what gets me is, uh, CK said, let's put the cheating rumors away about Maso and Tisha. But we could keep on bringing up male cheating. Did male cheat? Y'all know what? You can't make this up. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. It don't make no sense to me. I don't understand it. They still piggyback, piggyback, pat a whack, give a dog a bone, riding on mail, coattail. Still riding on her coattail. Because nobody have a storyline. Now, with one part, you know I don't get down with Tisha. I don't like her. You know, I wish her all the best, but I don't care for her. But I wish her all the best. <sighs> but I'm proud of her. Stand 10 toes down. When she told Maso, I can't answer that. <laughs> how the turn, how the tables turn. Yep, you did that, girl. I was proud of you on that one. Exactly. She need to worry about um two foot Chris. Yep. Two foot Chris. Because all on around there is free cop molly. They like the ring, the ring a ling, ding a ling. They like to sled all over the place. I'm not the one to gospel. I'm just here reporting the news to you. But like I said, was there smoke, there's fire. I wish them all the best. I don't want to see no black pe person to be ripped down um, over a lawsuit. I just wish them all the best and they can get back on their feet. That goes for everybody on that show. Because I told y'all, I told y'all so, uh, and told y'all so. I said, when these people leave this show, they're going to be in debt, more debt than they was before they start this show. Didn't I say that? Didn't I say that? Didn't I say that? 
Then now, Maso said Mattel owe him money. They probably all on probably owe each other money. Matter of fact, I I hate to say it, but if I was Mattel, I would have said, well, uh, how about when y'all ain't had nowhere to go at? You stayed in the house. How about when y'all were driving our car? You didn't have a car. You drove our car. How about when you didn't have no food on your table? We put food on your table. So I can't even put a price on how much you owe me. How about me and Mel? When he did say that, me and Mel was the one that got you started. Boop! Because if it wasn't for us, you wouldn't have had a company. What it is at the end of it, scope, hope, make it make sense. Scope, hope, make it make sense. I feel like it might be a good thing and we might see a rerun of stuff overacting that's the one thing i can tell y'all now i'm gonna try to look at it but i cannot stand overacting i cannot i see a lot of shows on two mode is that two mode t mode tv and they got some some homemade videos over there movies and they can't even act. Overacting. I, had, I said, nope, I got to go. It start off good, and when they start overacting, I got to go. Can't stand it. I got to go. It just irks my bones and my body. I said, I got to go, y'all. And I go. Because no in the world, I can put up with that. Overact. Yeah, Tubu. Yeah. Oh, you know they got, uh, well, you know what I'm talking about. They do got overacting, um, Movers over there, over there, don't they? I don't, I, I don't think Montez harassing Nell. I don't think he harassing her. I think they know what's going on. They got together and they need a storyline. Everybody up there need a storyline. Nobody have a storyline. Everybody need a storyline. I don't think Montel was harassing Nell. I do not. Because um, Nell can handle her own. If he was harassing Nell, why pull Melody in it? Why? Don't Nell have a husband? Isn't Chris her husband? Why Chris don't get in and say, look, you're not gonna keep on harassing my wife with that. We we ain't gonna do this. We ain't gonna do this. We are gonna leave this alone. We are gonna leave this alone. Ain't that much harassing in the world? You got a whole a whole full grown husband. A whole full grown husband sliding across the floor, all on YouTube, all on um TikTok. He got a lot of TikToks. He slide across the floor and he slide on, on, on cement. He slide down, he slide to the side, he slide on the other side, and he slide on boxes. So he could have slide right over there and told Martel, look, leave my wife alone. Don't harass her. That's all you had to do. Now I'm going to drop the link. This is the rule. We ain't going to over talk each other. Say what you got to say. We're going to stick to the subject. We're not going left. We're not going right. We're not going up and down. We got 15. Yep, we got 15 minutes. We're not going up and down. And then I'm going to say, that's all, folks. Have a nice day. Ring a like a lane. <laughs> Y'all almost ain't cutting that back. I said, I promised them that I was coming. Monday and it rang so bad Monday. I say, um, I gotta come today. I haven't forgot the video. I still got that video ready to release. I just have to get the okay. I told y'all when people tell give me stuff, I just don't release it. They have to give me the okay. So that means that um y'all gonna have about four um uh, videos this month. Cause y'all want to tell me, y'all want me to tell y'all who I, who gonna, um, turn, who I got a lot to tell you, tell you.
and got receipts too. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Montero, you right. Hotel don't have no, you're not connected. Girlfriend, you're not connected. Okay, there you go. Hi, my dear. Hi, how you doing, gorgeous? I'm good. How are you? I'm finding you. Bless. Trying to be blessed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hope you are. Um, oh goodness. Um uh, they need to recast this show. They need to recast this show. I am so sick of Nell with all of that hair. She's going to get whiplash being so dramatic. If she don't stop being so dramatic, and why is she got so much gunction for Martell when her husband right there, Where where is Chris at with all of this fussing? Exactly. These men are cowards. They like exactly. to come for the women, but they don't handle the men. Even Courtney Big Tail. I, I digress. I, we're not talking about that. But I really want Tisha and Marceau to stop trying to be male in Martel 2.0. Because that's what it's coming off as. The, every storyline male and Martel have is like they regurgitating it. It's not making any sense because it's not sticking. I said this the other day. It's just not sticking. It's not sticking. Because it, it's, it's so fake. They're acting as like you said on Tubi. Being a uh, Knock down with ketchup. That's the that's 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 the scenes that it show. <laughs> this is horrible. I, I'm not really. I'm not. Uh, I'm like you. I'm gonna try to watch, but I don't like to be movies. I be changing the channel when it, when you can tell the storyline in the five, first five minutes of the show. They showing too much too. They're showing too much. How you like the um the picture they got um Maso on one side and Tisha on uh, one side. Now, what I heard that somebody said they're back in the house, but they're not. Um, if you are back in the house, why you sign a two-year lease with the apartment people? You still mm -hmm. have another year mm -hmm. to go with these people. And allegedly, the, they said they're not together. They have not been together for a while. He doesn't even look at Tisha like a, like a husband looks at a wife. Even with her new body, you would think he would be looking at her more lovingly than he had in the past because she's, you know... Re, you know revamped her whole look but he doesn't even he doesn't give me a, a look of desire for his wife like other men like martel lustfully looks at her he don't even look at her like that so i i, I don't i don't see it um for them um I, and i don't i don't advocate for it, um, divorce at all um, it just don't seem like they meshing it just it never really seemed like it was mesh it seemed like he just in it because he got her pregnant you know and well, he, he just, said it and, and and he said it he said if she was another pregnant he wouldn't have married so that's what she said, said the same thing she said that wasn't her plan to have kids and get married she said the same thing it's like they codependent on each other to make um mm -hmm. he needs her for finances and she needs him for um her pedal stool to say i i my marriage is 15 years strong that's how i see it i, I don't th i think they just you know, well, I was in a um uh, 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 married for eighteen. This show won't spawn for eighteen years, and that's well, what I'm saying. Right. These I people just, will, will sit up here and, and say something mm -hmm. look good in no good way is not good. But I think she likes to throw it in people's face. That's why she's yeah. trying to stick with it, no matter how bad it is. She'll mm -hmm. and she'll never say how bad it is, even though yeah. people on the out. I think it's what they say: people on the outside can see more than you can on the inside. And mm -hmm. even though you're dealing with it, but instead of her really dealing with it, she just rather just, you know, deal with the reality and what people are telling her. She just rather say that you're picking on her marriage and you're miserable and yours or you don't have one, you know, like when she's team wifey or whatever. I just think she just, uh, uh, she just make me sick. I don't like her. I ain't even going to fake and black. I, I, I don't like her. her. I don't either. From day one, I didn't like her. Um, it was just something about her, uh, you know. It, it was just something always about her that I didn't like, and she's just gotten worse over the seasons. Yeah, somebody said, "Have I ever looked?" See, how he, yeah, I said a long time ago that he had a he liked the male. He he was flirting with Mel a mm -hmm. lot, and Mel and Mel told him, "Huh, boy, I don't want you." She was up. Like, she showed it. Told him, "Huh, you got it twisted." Yeah, Tisha's trying to morph into male, just like um, uh, Drew was trying to morph into Portia. 
trying, you know, yep. taking her looks and everything like that. Tisha is a wannabe male because she sees how Martel was looking at her. So I, I, I agree with that statement. I do agree with that. Yeah, I um looked at um them, and I think well, I like I told everybody when Mel and and Tisha came over there um when they was at the um where it was at when they took the vacation and and Mel didn't know that he was coming that they was coming. She was asking it was not asking Mel how you know she did it and stuff like that like you know girl she was asking mail like she was writing stuff down in her brain to do a getaway the way she was kept on asking her like um well how you find your peace and how you did it and then she can go to profession i don't think she's happy but why you asking because mm-hmm. she's miserable why you asking, why you asking? she wants she because she was making trying to make her break out i said well, i said why are you asking then I don't think she, you don't oh, think that. I don't think she's had she has any positive images in her life in her family. So it seems like she was trying to, like you said, getting getting that information from Mel, but instead, uh, because Mel is making it, Mel is. But Tisha has such a dark heart and a dark soul that she's not she's not using her resources. Like the last person I would be trying to make an enemy is somebody who is who is doing the thing yeah. Mel got the Midas touch like everything she touched turns to go she's Midas yeah. male to me and Tisha is sitting up there just tissue Tisha tearing up over everything because she they, they tear down everything and she tear up over everything she needs to get it together and look at someone who you know has had a bad marriage and has still come out on top and there's plenty of women who have but you have someone right in your face with the blueprint telling you how to go about being better and being able to still survive and still do the thing but she's just so miserable and wanting to see the misery in male that she's not seeing the magnificentness in her like come on she's doing it but you still just want to see that old that old male in that old um, mess that she was in and not what she's the butterfly that she's become. She's out of that cocoon and Tisha needs to, Tisha needs to do it as well. People but she's just larva. Yeah. <laughs> People don't want you to succeed or do good. They always want you to fall. And, and that's mm-hmm. for um, anybody, even if Tisha would leave my soul and she kind of got her trying to get her stuff together. Have no problem with that. That's good. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm I'm happy for you, but they can't give the same energy to male. Mm-hmm. Do you know? I ha- I don't know. I have not seen CK congratulate male at all. I don't know him. The news reporter. I don't know. I don't know what he did behind door, but he showed didn't do it public for somebody to know that he did it. The only person that I know, I'm not in the YouTube streets. Y'all probably know more than me. Is that um. Tisha congratulate and um they said that Tiffany did. I think Kimmy did. And Maso. Um, Ma- yeah, Maurice I think Kimmy, did. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't I think, see Maso didn't do it. Th- Go ahead, oh, tell me who did. No, I'm sorry. No, I was gonna say I think Kimmy did, and they kind of piggybacked off of Kimmy, but it's like they just never do it on their own, and it's it's out of jealousy. Uh, and Carlos, C- Carlos is jealous of Mel because Mel. Mel got it, and I think he knows Mel can, you know, ain't 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 sitting back needing him anymore. So no, he'll never congratulate Mel, at least not in public. He may have behind the scenes, but not in public like he do everybody else. He bigs up everybody else, and she's your star. Like that's not making any sense why he why he doesn't do that. But I, and I don't know why he don't. I I, I just think that's male envy on his part that it, it just makes no sense to me how he a how he does heart, that. a jealous mm-hmm. heart and he the first one to put up quotes for um god and stuff like that so well i hope he know um jealousy is a sin mm-hmm. i hope yep. you know that and, and it comes to that when you wish something bad on somebody else or you got just another person what you praying for them will give it to that person and I tell all the time, I say, oh, you got your day. I say, CK, when karma comes, mm-hmm. the greatest stuff that you did, 
you ain't gonna know because you don't burn burn all your bridges burn them down and you're not gonna have anyone to come to help you because you don't burn them i told her about i believe everything candy said i believe when she first said it i believe them i believe her because my a long time ago ck was trying to set mail up a long time ago mm. Cause they have a problem. People, they have a problem there. They don't even know if um about the show. They don't want CK, and he figured that okay, you don't want me, you're not gonna get nobody else. And I think I don't think Mel is on the same wagon that he's on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then when it, that when when that happened, everybody come at Mel one time because she didn't go do what what they wanted to do. Okay, everybody want to be stars up here. But okay, if she ain't, if she's not on on, on the team, we might as well mm -hmm. hang it up. You see, you hear what Maso said, right? Mm -hmm. He said, "Well, Mel ain't doing need for us to do it. So who he got trust in? Nobody up, no, not now one of those six up there. Mm -hmm. He only had trust in Mel. You got to listen. Like I said, I listened closely. I'm an observer, so I listened closely when he said." If Mel not in it, I'm not. I'm not gonna be in it, cause cause it's not gonna come out right. Yep, and that show didn't. And he said it. He said I ain't gonna come out right now. He's standing to his brother, calling his brother out. They calling each other out. You think that's real or fake? I think that's real because let me tell you one thing. One want to be better than the other one. Somebody sure. got to make it. Somebody got to make it. One thing these brothers are, I done seen them turn on each other so bad. I done seen them put out pictures on each other. And True. Somebody, it's like this. Somebody got to make it. I'm going to fake it till I make it. I'm going to pull you down so I can get up. Maybe if I get up, I can pull you up. So one of us got to get to the top to bring the other one. And I keep telling them, when you get on TV, what you have to do is be calm and play your cards right. They run around here acting like yahinas, running, <laughs> ooh, this, ooh, yeah, yeah, acting like your mind bad. All you have to do is calm down, and you would have been on the same street and follow Mayor Blueprint. Mm -hmm. Y'all would have been on the same thing. You wouldn't be in all these lawsuits. You wouldn't. Mel handed you the baton and you dropped it. And they living beyond their means. That's the main thing. They they went out and bought like these fancy cars and houses and stuff and built and taken and over. Pocketbook, and she got all the pocketbooks on the doorknob. I know that doorknob said, oh, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> when there's so many stuff that you can get, you can get a rat for your pocketbook. You get a clothes hanger rat that you can hang all your pocketbooks on yep. and hang it in a closet. It didn't have to hang on the door. There's so many things you can do for your pocketbooks. You could put them in on um, line them up. You got that many designer pocketbooks on a knob? Mm-mm. She you she used posh. Them things got to go back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so posh lets you use a pocketbook and send it back. I don't know, but she tell don't. Me something. <laughs> ain't no way she's sitting up there with them pocketbooks and she's not being like Kim Zosiak and needing to sell them. I'm not gonna be in debt with no expensive stuff in my house that's just sitting on door handles. I'm returning something to get some money back to start paying off. I my know debt. that's right. I, I don't like right. my credit score looking upside down like Maurice. I'm sorry, it's not gonna be like that. Credit Karma Kimmy and Credit None Maurice can't do nothing for their own family. No, ma'ams. No, ma'am. <laughs> and that's why I says I'm trying to figure out why everything is in the woman's name. Make it make sense. Because when they ready to roll, everything going to be in their names. They're going to have to take their hit for everything that's in their names. Marcel going to go ahead on like uh, Martel hurried up and did. Mel said he filed for bankruptcy first, didn't she? Yeah. So that's He tried to stick her do. with everything. He tried to stick her yep. with everything. And yep. people were like, they were beating up. Oh, she filed bankruptcy. She had to. She had no choice. Once you get married like that, so you won't be with all the debt. She had to because he filed, so then the debt would have fell on her. Yep. So when she filed, the debt ain't gonna be. He filed, the debt don't be on nobody. That's why she filed. I agree. I know I would have. 
Especially I wouldn't be sitting up there with all your little other ladies mess on my credit cards and stuff. I sure would have. <laughs> well, his uh, <laughs> a coleslaw got mad at me, and I don't care. I put her. I put a little clip up. I told her to leave those babies alone. What gets me with her is you don't want nobody talking about your son. Mm -hmm. But then you go keep on talking about sugar mama and the other kids every chance you get. But when the people come talk about your child, I don't do kids. That's one thing I don't do. I don't talk about kids. But when they come talk about your child, you have a fit. So that's why I put up that short about you and your clothes. I told you don't want this smoke. I told you. I ain't warning you no more. Leave those children alone. Kids is off. Talk about you. Talk about hotel. Talk about y'all to find a job. She mad Mel got them kids Louis Vuittons. <laughs> she they mm -hmm. they better not take them Louis Vuittons over there, cold slops. Them them Louis Vuittons. <laughs> you say cold slop. I'm I dumb. call it cold slop. I don't call her by no cold slop. Cold slop people like to eat that. Cold slop don't nobody want. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. And I it, it, and it's good to teach your children that because I bought my children things like that as well. Mm -hmm. But I teach them like Mel did how to work hard. Things don't come for free. You have to work. And that's why everybody like, well, you got multiple jobs. Yep, sure I do. I do. And I do it because I want to travel. When I get a certain age, I want to be able to travel. I don't want yes, to be able to sit and say, oh, I wish I can go here. I wish I can go there. I, uh -uh. I want to travel. Yes, so I try to make all my money now. When I get older, I could just travel, live my life. Yes, ma'am. You are a true inspiration. I'll be watching you on Instagram at your exercise classes and stuff and in the pool. So I understand. And, and you know, Retiring, people retire with no money and stuff like that, never traveled and things. Unfortunately, my mom passed before she retired and she had millions and she didn't get to enjoy it. And so do it now. Enjoy now. You know, it, you know, buy, buy if you can afford mm -hmm. to have luxury things. And those are the things that you like. I like to travel. I don't need all the pocketbooks in the world because, I mean, you, you can't carry but one at a time. Yeah. You can't wear but one pair of shoes at a time. You know, yeah. when I travel, I carry, you know, I use a lot of the same color. So I ain't got to bring so much luggage with me because they charge mm -hmm. what they done change, what, 40 pounds now? That's that's the one luggage you can it's, bring. It was 50 pounds, 40 now? It's 40 now, yep. Wow. Now. Yep, they recently changed it. So, you know, you got to fly light now but you know you, you got the <laughs> male is teaching her children generational wealth and i love that because that wasn't taught to many black folks when we were no, young it wasn't. you know so you have to do that now because who knows what 15 20 years from now what these gen z is gonna do to our money we about to yeah. get that <laughs> and i'm trying to get everybody to say do go go to one place i done been to so many different um countries and I my mom passed away before she could even go out the country, and I said I'm going to mm -hmm. do two trips a year. And I tell everybody, there's no reason for you not to go. They got layaway. If you want to go, say I want to go to Africa um, next year. Go sign up for your trip, and then pay for your trip each month. Mm -hmm. And about time you ready to go next year, 2024, your trip be paid for. Yes, ma'am. Yep. See, yep. I get the trips with the airfare and everything included. Your trip mm -hmm. be paid for. I mean, I'll be telling you, I said, uh huh. When I went to uh, Jamaica, I had me a ball. I said, Jamaica, baby. Jamaica, yes, I had me man. a ball. I I've love to, it. <laughs> yeah, DR. I've been to, um, what else to go to? I've been to uh, Bahamas. I, been, I took a cruise. I did a lot of things and I just traveled. And I said, I want to go to places that I, I wanted to go to uh, Atlanta. I ain't never been to Atlanta. I went to Atlanta. I had a ball. I did all day. They had so much to do there. I just did a lot of the traveling. Like, I'm going to go. I'm, Next, I'm going to Paris next year. I'm taking another cruise. I'm taking an all adult cruise. Then mm. I'm going on, yes, and then I'm going on a um, I'm gonna be Thama and my friend gonna be Louise. We're going, <laughs> to, we're going on a state, a state to state trip. Awesome. And she said, Well, why you got to be Thama? Why you got to be Louise? I said, I'm gonna just like them, and you're gonna just like Louise. <laughs> <laughs> I just want people to, huh? No, I'm sorry. 
I just want people to enjoy life while mm -hmm. you can. Now, look at these people on this, this show. These people ain't going to have not one dime. The only person I see up there with money is Melody. Everybody yeah. faking it. Everybody faking, fake, 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 fake. And I even tell everybody, I say, everybody tell me, well, Motel got his face done. I don't think Motel got his face done. I think Motel, karma just kicking him down. Yes, it is. It's, you can see all the worry in his face. Yep. Yep. It's just and kicking him down. Yep. And who knows what he got might be eating from inside of him. Exactly. So he looked like he is deteriorating. Do you notice those babies more with male than anything now? Book. Mm. He don't have nowhere to live. Right? He was staying with his mama. Mm. I, I know on um, Coleslot, she um so they, she in Atlanta with a sister. And she ain't never been nowhere. She so that little raggedy fashion show she did with them doggone discount clothing. Birkin, Birkin outfit. Yes, I saw that. She's so sad and pitiful. That poor baby. Exactly. I was her. I've, been, I've been telling her for a long time. You let somebody else make money off of you when you had your channel and you let this um be the bastard. Take, take you off your <laughs> off your channel when you could have had made money for your place for you and your children to stay. It would have been a a, a a regular income because people gonna go and see what your crazy tail got to say. So you gonna get paid for that. So you let all that money go out the door and give it to somebody else. Let somebody else tell your story. Make it make sense when you could have had the money and had a place for your children to stay had food and stuff in your house and you wouldn't be living off the system. You would have had everything that you needed for your children. All you had to do was go over there and talk about Montel. They would have ran over there. Mm -hmm. All you had to do is I got to tell y'all something. They would have ran over there just to be nosy because we nosy. So they, when when the view, you get money from views, they're going to come over there. So when they look at your stuff, you won't get money. When she started her, her, um, her YouTube channel, in one day, she had 3K. So she was mm. ahead. She had enough to be uh, uh, monetized, to get paid on her first video. Mm. That's why I said she just dumb. I don't know which one of the words, dumb or stupid. I just say she both of them, dumb and stupid. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> because ain't no way in the world I let somebody else tell my story. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Well, I did see when she had a breakdown. She should definitely, that's the time she should have used her YouTube channel instead of her Instagram. She should have used the YouTube channel to have a breakdown. And that was funny to me because she said, <laughs> she said, why? 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 <laughs> Look like she just got out the bottle. That thing is touched. Exactly. I said, well, she done blow the whistle. <laughs> I was laughing so hard. I said, yep. She done blow the whistle. She done had a breakdown and broad daylight. She said, why? 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 <laughs> I was, that was, that was funny. I was crying. <laughs> I said, somebody, I said, I'm going to peel my sack of my stomach. I was laughing so hard. <laughs> so but we tired of seeing that bun on her head, that spun web of just she don't know what she got. Charlotte Spider she Web up there. I mean, she had a, a, a something else one time. I don't. To my, that's my opinion. I don't think she had no baby. I think it was her sister baby because I'm like this lady. Ain't nowhere in the world you can hold. You can hide a whole whole baby. But we. But I got to say again. One half I think she do. One half I don't because she. We didn't see knots until knots was like what four. Five months. Mm -hmm. He was in a uh, shopping cart when we first seen him. We well, we didn't see him. We seen his legs in his hands. Mm, mm, mm. I'm trying Who to figure how you had a whole baby. Who knows? She just a lie too. So who knows that? I mean, her and Fire Marshal Tail. Who knows? Because that's what he looking like now. He looking like Fire wink. Marshal Tail. I call him Wink a Wink. Look at Bill, little Bill, little Bill, wink a wink, little Bill. <laughs> yeah, and she messed up her goal trying to get on TV. She signed that NDA 
first of all, where Carlos, she she could she wasn't she supposed to stop talking about stuff in the beginning, and mm. now she just flying off the handle, just telling everything. I wonder how long that that NDA was. Or what she couldn't come on the show, right? She signed something. I think she, she can't said. talk about. It. That's why I think she get to um, uh, 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 um, nay because she can't talk about the show. She can't talk about my. I think she can't talk about hotel, um, and other stuff. I think somebody and other stuff she can't talk about. Mm. Well, she doing it. Or was that oh that that, that I was think it was old, a right? year I think it was a year I think it was that season I I think because sometimes they have a uh, uh, expiration date on it I don't know oh. it might be up that's why you know because she was quiet for a while and mm -hmm. it might be up now that's why she's coming and saying little things because it might be up now. How you think she felt after she seen Martell at um with Sheree on that last episode? <laughs> Wife, 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 wife. <laughs> that's what she did. She just slide down the wall. No, I You lie, you lie, you lie. She was just sliding down the wall. I still and, got it. I still <laughs> get. I still got it. I still got it. I still got it. I'm still the one. I'm still. Yep, you the one. You the white one. <laughs> <laughs> she over there sliding down the wall and 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 Po Knox over there trying to hold her up with his spider webs because he he little spider man over there. He he's he trying to help his po mama. He don't know. He just don't know what's going on. With it. <laughs> I hate that for that baby because I mean you know he didn't ask to be here, but he is he's a product of two dummies. She planned that baby and thought that 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 baby was gonna make hotel marry her. Wrong road, wrong road. I said it, and I said she called herself trapping him, thinking that mm -hmm. that girl was gonna hold him. And she got pregnant after allegedly after that baby, but she got rid of that baby. Mm. And she was pregnant before that baby, but she kept up keeping knots. But after knots, she got pregnant again, and she ended up getting rid of that baby. Cause she said her and Mel was pregnant at the same time, right? One time, or was that? Yeah, they were. Okay. Yeah, well, I think she said on um, Boss Baby with Boss Baby. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. If he didn't leave her, then she, you know one thing is you can't a man a baby ain't gonna keep no man, and she should have known that from the first couple of times she was doing what she did, you know. And, and he was still with his with his wife making babies, but she said that she over there steady making babies. Well, that's his that's her husband. Why she ain't supposed to? You the one ain't supposed to be making babies, Goofy. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for coming. I'm ready to close out, y'all know I'm be up here. I got I got orders. To, well, I just dropped some order off. I got orders, some more orders to get together. And I enjoy you. Thank you for coming. I with enjoyed you. you too. I'm about to get off this phone and shut off this stuff because we're getting a storm it look like. So I wish everyone will. Everyone be safe and be blessed. And yeah, I will you, see y'all. You, you have a blessed evening. Thank you. Good night. All right. Bye -bye. Good night. Bye-bye. Everybody, thank you for coming to this evening. And if I have any mom, thank you for coming as well. You know I love you, girl. And I want to tell everybody I love y'all. If nobody told you they love you, auntie love you. If you haven't placed an order, place an order today. Don't forget the raffle start on the first. Um, we got to do mental health checkup tomorrow, and I'm going to um announce what we have we have three blankets it's three blankets and is a a hat and is a t-shirt the raffle raffle i got 250 tickets i the plan is to get rid of all those tickets so when i go um drop my braha off and the day i can give them that check and tell them it's from and squad because we are the best when i finish the bra i'm gonna let everybody see it okay so when i finish um, the bra i'm gonna um let y'all see it and y'all tell me what you think about it 
So y'all have a blessed night. If nobody told you to love you, auntie, love you, subscribe. Leave that bell on. Ring a linger. Ling a ling a ling. Mm -hmm. Have a blessed day.